Hi everybody and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got everything for you right here. We're getting into some Major League Baseball action now for September the 9th. And before we do though, I'm going to invite you to join. So you'll have access to the VIP club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so we're down to the final three weeks of the Major League Baseball season coming up. And things are really starting to heat up as the biggest races uh, left to be determined, uh, although the wild card races are important, top seed in the National League and the American League, and there's been battles of three teams in both leagues. So we're going to take a look at um, four key matchups for September the 9th. There's 10 games scheduled. We'll look at four of them. The first game we want to take a look at is, scroll down through here. Uh, Tampa Bay and the Philadelphia Phillies. See, the Phillies have won the last five, and they are five and one over the last six. While Tampa Bay is three and three over the last six. The Phillies are in a battle with the Dodgers and the Brewers for top seed in the National League. Uh, you can see that the teams are treading on opposite sides of the line. The Rays five of the last six games have been over the line, while the Phillies four out of the last six games have been under the line. The score prediction is a very low score with uh, Tampa Bay uh, predicted to win 2-1, to one, but the confidence in the prediction is not real high yet at only 60%. <clears throat> if you take a look at the power ranks indicator, the Phillies are hovering near the top here at plus 28 over the last few days, while Tampa Bay was at 26 and they have dropped down to uh, plus 21. The Phillies have a scoring differential edge, a real big scoring differential edge of plus 116 to minus 61. Um, the Phillies are ex excellent at home, 22 games over 500 at home, while the Rays are a game under 500 on the road. If we take a look at the stability factor, you see that the Phillies have been much more consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status here at plus 29 compared to Tampa at plus 5. In the end here, I do like the Phillies at home. I think they're going to get very close to uh, securing the division very soon. And they're going to keep pace for top spot. But I'm going to pass on the over-under bet. Kansas City and, and the New York Yankees. Here's another really good matchup. The Yankees are battling with the Orioles in the AL East. And also the Cleveland Guardians for the uh, top record in the American League. Um, neither team has been playing well lately. Um, the Yankees just 2-4 and four over their last six. And Kansas City 1-5 and five over their last six. Kansas City is still in the, in the mix for a wild card spot. So this is an important game for them as well. The over or under, you can see the Yankees over in the last six games. Uh, Kansas City over in three out of the last six. The score prediction is Yankees six, Kansas City four. Confidence in the prediction is sitting at 71%. Power ranks, we see Kansas City near, here at the bottom at zero because of their poor play recently. And the Yankees here at, at plus eight. Um, if we go to the head-to-head -head matchup between the teams, you can see they played uh, let's see, three games, actually four games this season so far, all in Kansas City back in June. And the Yankees won three out of the four games, and two of those three wins were in blowout fashion. Um, if we take a look at a few other things here, the Yankees are 37-31 and 31 at home, and Kansas City is 34-35 and 35 on the road. I like the Yankees, and I think it's going to be a higher scoring game. So let's go with the Yankees and over the line. Okay, the next one we want to look at as we go through here, the most important games of the day, Baltimore and Boston. Again, the reason why we're looking at this one is because Baltimore's in the hunt with the Yankees in the AL East and for top record in the American League. Uh, the Orioles are 4-2 uh, and two over their last six, while Boston is just 1-5 and five over the last six games. If you look at the over-under, we, like we always like to do, uh, the last five games between the two teams combined, um, over in all five. The previous ones were under. The score prediction is for a higher scoring over the line game. Uh, Boston 10, Baltimore 4. Confidence in the prediction is nearly 70%. The power ranks indicator both teams are down very low because of their recent play. Baltimore was at 20 and they just fell off a cliff down to plus 6. And Boston is at plus 3. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup between the teams this season, we see Teams have played uh, quite a few games, right? Look at all these games here. With Baltimore having the upper hand in this 
so far, winning seven out of the ten contests between the teams. Boston is only 31 and 38 at home, surprisingly playing very poor at, at Fenway Park, and Baltimore is excellent on the road at 40 and 29. And also, the Orioles have a clear advantage in the scoring differential at plus 99 to minus 5. I don't see really much of a way for Boston to win this one. I mean, all signs point toward Baltimore, so let's go with the Orioles and the game over the line. The last game we want to look at is, go down through here, Chicago Cubs and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Again, the Dodgers are in the battle with the Phillies and the Brewers for top record in the National League, and they come in 4-2 and two over the last six games. And the Cubs are in second place in the NL Central, but they really don't have any legitimate chance at the playoffs anymore. So and they are 4-2 and two over their last six. The over-under you can see is mostly over the line. Nine out of the last 12 games combined, the teams have been over the line. And the score prediction is for the Dodgers 6, the Cubs 4. Confidence in the prediction is at 66%. Uh, again, we like to look at the power ranks, and despite the Dodgers being in first, you see the Dodgers are on a downward trend at the moment at plus 16. The Cubs on an upward trend there are now at plus 24. Head-to-head -head wise, the teams met three times way back at the beginning of April, with the Cubs winning two out of the three in Chicago, but things are different now that, than they were earlier in the season. Um, the Dodgers have a scoring differential edge of plus 112 to plus 57. The Dodgers are 21 games over 500 at home. They're excellent at home. Um, I really don't see, again, much of a, a path for the Cubs to win this one. I do like the Dodgers to win this game rather easily in a game over the line. So there you have it. Those are the four games we will look at for Major League Baseball for September 9th. Happy betting, and see you again next time.